As China's defense sector has made considerable strides over the past two decades, ending the previous disparity with Russia and the United States, the country has emerged as a leading arms exporter in a wide range of fields from precision-guided missiles to surface warships. This has facilitated close defense ties with a range of partners from Iran and Thailand to African and Latin American states. Neighboring Pakistan has come to rely on China as its leading arms supplier, acquiring a wide range of systems from C-802 cruise missiles to HQ-16 air defense systems and Type 054 class frigates, and now China is offering its upgraded Z-10ME attack helicopter. As America and Turkey refuse to sail their attack helicopters to Pakistan for certain of reasons. But before going into the video's details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to get more and the latest updates. In July 2018, Pakistan signed a $1.5 billion deal with Turkey for buying 30 Turkish-made T-129 attack helicopters. The delivery date, however, has been pushed back due to the Pentagon's refusal to issue export licenses for engines and other parts made in the U.S. In January 2020, Pakistan gave the first, one-year extension to the manufacturers, the Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, for delivering the helicopters, but with the sale in jeopardy, the Turkish government tasked Tuzis Engine Industries TAI's sister company with developing an indigenous engine for the T-129. Pakistan chose Turkey's T-192 attack helicopters to replace its fleet of AH-1F Cobra gunships, which were acquired in the 1980s. But the Turkish Aerospace Industries, which makes the helicopters, must first secure U.S. export licenses before delivery can take place. The T-129, which is based on the Augusta A-129, utilizes a pra Viltec T-800-4A engines, produced by a joint venture between British firm Rolls-Royce and U.S. firm Honeywell. This gives the U.S. a veto over whether the engines may be re-exported to other customers, such as Pakistan. Within months of the news that the contract between Turkey and Pakistan had been completed, Turkish officials were warning that the deal could hit a roadblock over the need for U.S. approval. The sale has been in limbo ever since, though Turkey has explored the possibility of a workaround by installing alternative engines, either sourced from Europe or produced locally. Pakistani Army Aviation Commander Major General Syed Najib Ahmed previously stated that we are looking at other options. One of them is in China in the shape of the new attack helicopter they have created called the Z-10ME. In case the first two options do not materialize, this third option will be considered. He highlighted that the latest versions of the Z-10 had markedly improved capabilities, with firepower, in particular, seeing major enhancements, and expressed seriousness regarding Turkey's ability to deliver on its contact. China is a leading supplier of arms to Pakistan, the country notably looked to diversify its suppliers when considering acquisitions for new attack helicopters, signing contracts to acquire the American AH-1Z and Turkish T-129 light platforms. While neither of these two platforms is particularly heavy or state-of-the-art, and are far inferior to the Russia Mi-35 currently in service, and the American AH-64 Apaches recently sold to India, they were prized for their low costs. Islamabad ordered 12 AH-1ZS under the USA's foreign military sales process in 2015, and three years later placed a $1.5 billion order for 30 Turkish Aerospace T-129s. The former represents a platform at the lower end of the American helicopter fleet, while the latter has an underwhelming performance with Turkey having only modest experience in the field of manufacturing military helicopters and a much more limited technological base to work from. Both the United States and Turkey have notably failed to deliver on their contracts to Pakistan. The AH-1Z sale has been on hold as a result of Washington's decision to cut security funding to Pakistan, although American export sanctions threatened to cut the supply of parts for the aircraft even if the delivery was made. 
The T129 has meanwhile been marketed as an indigenous Turkish design, despite the majority of its technologies and the core design itself being of Western origin. This includes its Latec T800 engines, the sale of which has been frozen by sanctions leading to a suspension of the contract. Pakistan Major General Syed Najib Ahmed stated regarding the possibility of a new contract for attack helicopters, which would bypass the need for Western or Turkish technologies entirely. Pakistan is urgently seeking to retire its aging Bell AH-1F Cobra attack helicopters, around four dozen of which are currently in service, and to regain parity with the Indian military which has rapidly enhanced its own helicopter fleet. General Ahmed stated regarding India's current advantage, the Cobras are no match for the Apache that the Indians are getting. It has been speculated that Pakistan may also consider acquiring Russia Ka-52 Alligator attack helicopter, which can comfortably outperform the Apache in terms of firepower. The most notable recent enhancement to the Z-10 design has been the replacing of the WZ-9 turboshaft engines with the more powerful WZ-16, which will increase its endurance and allow it to deploy up to 16 HJ-10 anti-tank missiles. This will provide firepower more on par with the latest US and Russian designs. The new version of the helicopter also benefits from active and passive countermeasures a missile approach warning system, a radar warning receiver, an infrared jammer, and applique graphene-based armor panels, all of which serve to seriously improve survivability. So if Turkey failed, to develop indigenously engines for T-129 helicopters, Pakistan will move to acquire the latest and upgraded Chinese Z-10ME attack helicopters.